outrage releases dopamine, just like pleasure does. To understand why outrage sells, you have to understand the brain. When we encounter something that violates our moral code, the amygdala floods our body with adrenaline. The heart rate rises. The prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for reason, temporarily goes offline. We feel awake, righteous, powerful. It's the same biological mechanism that once helped us survive predators, now repurposed to survive the new cycle. Outrage releases dopamine, just like pleasure does. That's why moral indignation feels good and why it's addictive. Every time we vent online, we experience a neurological reward. And when others agree with us, the social validation compounds it. The platforms track these spikes and learn to replicate them. The feedback loop becomes tighter, faster, more personal. The result is behavioral conditioning on a national scale. We're no longer citizens deliberating over facts. We're participants in a continuous emotional experiment, one that pays its architects billions of dollars a year.